How many guys in this room snore? Come on, be honest. I mean, I would recommend everybody in this room, old lineman, try to see if you get a sleep study, all right? And even if you don't get a sleep study, if you could find a way to get a CPAP, game changer. Things to travel with. There's a hyperblade. You guys know what grasping tools are? So this vibrates. This isn't your typical wellness retreat. Put your heel on it, then you do 50 reps. Or fitness trade show. The rather large men in this room are all here because of Von Miller. Von Miller has become the all-time leading sack artist in Denver Broncos history. In 2017, the Broncos Pro Bowl linebacker organized the now annual Pass Rush Summit, where some of football's most dangerous defenders shared their best strategies and stories about getting to the quarterback. So Gerald McCoy is really good at he'll so say he'll be cocked in. Naturally, their offensive adversaries countered in this information war with the O-line Mastermind Summit. Probably had to been April of 2018, I was watching NFL Top 100. And Lane gets on there and he says, man, he goes, these D linemen are getting better and better. We need to all get in the room and figure out how to stop these guys. Usually it's the left tackle seen as uh, perceived, you know, going against the big dog every week and it's changing up. Right tackles, I wish there was a right tackles union. We could uh, all get together and find out how to stop all these guys. With this evolution of these defenders, man, it's a position in which we're asked to go backwards and be able to stop for momentum of better athletes. You see these guys come off the edges now, the Khalil Max and Von Miller. You know, people don't know Von Miller was a state champion hurdler coming out of DeSoto, Texas. This guy's 250, you know, running a 4-5. Can, can bend like a cat. Jadavion Clowney running a 4 5 three at, you know, around 270. It's a different breed of athlete. Nobody understands this life except the guys that are in there with you. This is one job in sports where you're not carrying the ball, you're not scoring any points. Your job is to serve for your teammates. Understanding that and having all these people that do the same thing, if we can get in one room together and talk about how to be more efficient in what we do, what's a greater idea than that? The hands is the biggest difference from a college guy and an NFL guy when it comes to rushes. The Nick Bosa's of the world that come into the league and are effective. He's not faster than Bob Miller. He's not stronger than Everson Griffin. He has hands. He has great hands, great sense of rush. He has a plan. Just watch his hands. They try to double team him there. It didn't matter. The effort by Bosa. In my case, I'm a show hands guy. I feel like I got a real strong grip. And if I can get my inside hand to this inside peck of that defender, I won that rep. I know what Teron does in terms of studying, breaking down film, and how he's going to attack guys. Same thing with Lane. I know when Lane is going to come double under aggressively or he's not going to give him anything, all right? Those are the type of things that those guys put film work in to, again, live in their minds to understand what they're trying to do. So Khalil, he's a, he's a get off, threaten the edge, but he wants to win on the inside. His whole game is to get you to turn, long on the inside shoulder, Hump the inside shoulder. He's trying to come back inside. Your inside half got to be strong and ready. You can't turn that the outside. Like, Lane clamps on that, his inside shoulder, and he can't do nothing to that. But that's his whole game, to get you to turn with get off. And if you somebody that opened the gate like that, he going he gonna to have a big day. There's a guy right there that knows a little bit about jump setting and being aggressive as hell is uh, Jesse. Well, at center, if, if I play a run plugger, a true 340 guy. That's, that's pretty easy for me. I have to jump him. When I was a guard, a guy like Leon Lett, that's about 6'7". You know, I'm not 6'7". But uh, I try to play it with down and distance and live in their mind. So if it's first and 10, does Leon pause a little bit just to play run? And that's when I can jump him, right? Because if I back up, now I'm playing right into his hands with his height, with his athleticism. So if the film that I'm studying shows that he pauses a little bit to try to play run, and I'm into him, now I negate that six foot seven. Now on third and long, now your old line coach tells you, <laughs> you gotta earn your money then. But you cut the game almost in half yep. when you play it like that. You're gonna see Leon Lett, he's number 78 in the middle. 
Then Jesse Cipolla comes out on him. You see 61 come, and boom, he gets the block right there. Gives Steve Young a good lane. When I was playing in the 80s and early 90s, it was just get your hands inside, hands inside wins. But then if you watch Joe Thomas, where Joe Thomas started coming outside onto the outside shoulder pad. I go here and then here. So I'm like this. Yeah. So then I can pull him into me if he's trying to like disengage. Right. And usually he can't, usually when they pull away, that's when they can get you the holding call. But usually but if you're like time, here yeah. in tight, you can have a little bit more control over him and he can't get that separation and do the, oh, he held me thing. Lane Johnson started, you know, a lot of guys started kind of coming up underneath and lifting guys and lifting up their center of gravity. And so we found in just the discussions here is that you've got to change up your approach because these guys that get paid as much money as quarterbacks chasing quarterbacks now they're going to adjust to you they're sitting in their own summits talking about how they're going to beat you what i was trained to do isn't always just the right way right now there's other ways to win and so i think that's cool and i think that's different and i think it's something that we got to continue to train ourselves to do Offensive line is the most thankless position in football. You go 100% unnoticed until you screw up. When people come together, success ends up being inevitable and failure kind of dissipates because you streamline ideas. The mastermind principle is that blueprint in what we want to get done here. And that's to advance the position and make sure that everybody that's involved with this is in the best possible case scenario and situation to have success.